Okay. After my last attempt at trying to put a video up today, you can't do something live. They may not like it. But if you do it and then upload it, well, somehow that's fucking okay. So here we go. I'm going to do a video on my sling bag, my day pack, my my go. If I need to get this bag to get back to the truck or to get home or get to the van where everything I need is in there, this is what I go with. What I have here is one of the cheaper knockoff versions of a sling bag, okay? It's got a sling on it. You just throw it around your head like this right here. And excuse my hat, but I'm in a hat mood. So you throw it around here like this right here. And you let it hang. And I keep a radio on mine so I can call home. I keep a phone up. <clears throat> Down here I keep a second phone on to record shit and take pictures of shit and carry on. Okay? But this is a sling bag. That's what it's for. You wear it over your one shoulder in the front so you can get your gear when the shit goes bad. Okay? Now, I'm going to run through right quick what's on my sling bag and try not to have this a very long video. You see O positive right here, my blood type. I don't care who knows it. Maybe if you're a medic and y'all have a bag that says I'm O positive, maybe you'll know what blood to give me if you have to do a transfusion for an emergency. Like a gunshot or some such okay but I have the stuff to treat myself I have a small super fucking tight <laughs> super tightly packed trauma kit from up it's a TMS it's an older one but the pouch is good and I have a spare tourniquet the one you can grab first right in front of that okay so you got your pack here, you got your first aid gear, because you're talking about getting home in bad time. Let's show a better look at the pack, okay? A better look at my pack. That's my phone. This is Ranger Beads down where my hand is, so you can count how far you're traveling once you establish that whole bunch of thinking. That should be another video. So then on the other side, you see my phone, and ooh, what's that? Uh-oh. And a flashlight. And another set. The range, those are the ranger beads that I just told you I had right so inside this front pouch you'll see if you open it not much of nothing there right it's too thin that's not a good pouch but if you open the top of this one now we're talking now I have another bandage for trauma issue I have a bandana I have a magazine for a handgun. And I have a couple of sorted notepads and a pocket knife. It has a, it's a, it's a, a it's a string pocket knife for fishing. But what I liked about it the most wasn't so much the longer blade, okay, but the scaler or saw. Can do either one. It's pretty good with a hook removal, but you know, beer can thing. It's for fishing, but it has dual purposes. So that is what I use it for. I'm going to leave this out right now and move on to the next good things. So I'm going to zip this back up so nothing else falls out because I want to redo this in a minute. So this top pouch, the main compartment, I have a lot of stuff in there in the main compartment okay I hope this is getting on video on the wide thing but if it's not I'm upset another magazine 45 caliber if the shit's hitting the fan I want a 45 caliber another magazine what's that 45 caliber a baby sack that I leave in the bag to help it stay dry This is something nobody puts in their bags to get home. What if you need gas? What if you need to stop and buy something? You need something really bad. Cash ain't worth a damn. I keep 10 silvers in my bag. A lot of people don't do that. Here's another dressing. 
I may have to help somebody else. A hyphen chest seal bag for trauma events. Assorted first aid bags in a Ziploc. First aid things you need. A bandana. Another bandana. There's always a way you can use bandanas. That's another one. A spork for eating and stirring up your coffee and shit when you make your coffee from the other bag that I might grab and we go with. But I don't have to. And, and that's it in that. So that's all that I carry in this bag. If I can get that back in there just the way I had it, I'll be super happy. And I, oh, in this front little pouch, there's nothing in there but one space blanket without the box ready to go at any time. If you got everything packed and wrapped up and you need it like right now and you got all this trash and shit, do you want to carry that trash? Or do you want to do something else? Why would you want to carry that trash around? Because all of these Ziplocs can be used for what? Water storage. Clap, 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 clap. Be clapping because bet you didn't think about that. That's why I go ahead and put them in a Ziploc. Water storage. If I don't have a bottle container with me, I've already got what I need. This is a Baofeng uh, FRS C, uh, 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 ham radio. If you don't have a license for it, any emergency, you can use a ham radio license. You can use a ham radio, I mean. It has FRS channels. It has AM, FM radio. This particular one is the 8 watt version with the bigger battery in it. My cap's open because I had the microphone thing plugged into it to grab to go to town earlier today. Baofeng. Fits in this very top pocket. If I put the, the headset, handset on it, which is this little gizmo that I just took off before the video. If I put that on here, boom chakalaka, we in business. Back goes my BB sack. By the time you get that and a couple other little things on you, you won't need to worry about the cold. So then you take that and you press it all back down into your pack. You get it all set. You got more stuff put in. Your bandage. Your blood your uh, trauma bandage. With blood clot already on it applied you might need that especially if you break something you have a bone sticking out or something let's say put your silver back in your bag 20 this is 10 round 10 one ounce silvers when the shit hits the fan that ship is going to start going up and up and up in prices put your spork back in there i carry one in everything a spork that spork there's a K-bar sport, by the way. If you pull it apart, it's got a little bitty knife in it. For eating, you might have to cut up something. And it will cut you. It's not the best thing to cut somebody with. Put your magazines back in, in opposing positions. They'll fit back in here all nice and tight. So you can... Zip it all right back up as soon as I get my hands right on this back because it's wanting to fall off the desk. But that's okay. It's all okay because if I squeeze it, it'll zip up. And you're ready to go again. Your mission to survive, to be prepared enough to get you back home where everything else you have is sitting there waiting on you. I don't believe you're going to bug out and go somewhere that you've never been. You don't know what's there. It may be worse than where you're leaving. There's another step of all this, okay? There is another step of all this. That step is your personal defense. And this piece here that usually folds over and you can snap it back inside of here... This compartment at the bottom of your bag, right? 
one nor a knife, more a knife, this is a more kill, more knife. I see. Anyway, inside this opening half, you unbutton it. You don't have to unbutton it to get access. You have another, your holster with your 45 in it. If the shit's hitting the fan, you don't have to keep it in here, but if it's right on your chest, you reach it right there and you're out and you're ready to go with it. Very important. 45, Spring Hill, X, XPA, the small one, the XDS, the small one, or X, it's an X something, I don't know. It's a Spring Hill gun. I like it. It's small, it's compact. It's not as heavy as my full sizes. I don't carry my full sizes around every day. This one stays in this pack, ready to go. If I'm going somewhere, I won't be home for a while. That I can't walk home in a matter of hours. You can bet your sweet ass this pack is somewhere within grabbing distance of me. You can just bet on it. Go ahead. Take that. And sit it down there right away. That's my video. I hope you liked it. This is Larry Fulmer. Out.